Welcome to Our English. I'm Priscilla and I have here Mr. Sildren from South Market TT. Welcome. How Hi, are you? you? I'm doing fine, Priscilla. How are you? I am super excited to have you here today to talk about your company. Can you introduce yourself and your work? Sure, no problem. So my name is Siljan Ramphal. I am an entrepreneur from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I reside in South Trinidad, hence the name South Market. It's a local um, initiative we started back in 2015. Mm -hmm. So actually this December will make it our five year anniversary, right? Congrats. <laughs> and, uh, thank you. And as I said, it, South Market is a local artisan exhibition we started it with the main intentions of giving um, the micros and small business, um, the small entrepreneurs, the hobbyists, the crafters, the artisans, giving them an opportunity to um, a, attend an event and have a forum to grow and expand their business, reach, reach and, and reach more clients as well. I was there. I love it. I congratulate you so much. It was the best experience for me okay, um, to come much. to Trinidad after all those years and be able to share my products at your market. It was yes. fun. <laughs> it was. I, I, I remember when you were there. Yay. Wonderful. I hope to see you soon again. Yes. Well, I mean, after all this um, COVID restrictions are over. Cross your fingers. <laughs> so what inspired you to create your company? So actually, I was a, I am a small business owner, right? I started um, from home having um, products to sell um, on my own and not, not being able to afford a monthly rent, um, mm -hmm. not being able to, um, to reach a big clientele. So actually, um, that was in 2015, when I decided, um, you know, hey, if I partner with other small businesses, we can all put up, we can collaborate, and we can rent a big venue mm -hmm. that I would not have been able to afford on my own. And that's exactly what I did. I managed, um, managed and coordinated, you know, get getting in touch with different um, vendors and entrepreneurs similar to myself. And we, our first event, uh, I coordinated with 30 different vendors and we were able to rent a big, uh, large hall. And hence we had the first South Market event and from there, I would say the rest is history. It just took off after that. No. Woohoo! Woo and then you have international guests that come. Yes. Oh, yes. So we <laughs> at, the, at the first at the first South Market as well. We had international guests as well, and I, I was um, most happy. I think they they really appreciated, you know, coming to Trinidad and come into uh, an event where they could meet and interact with the locally made um, products and artisans. 1,000%. I love it. All right. So how do you stay motivated every day? Um, I think being passionate about what you do is very important. Um, and I think that is my mean drive to keep on working hard behind my business, keep on pushing the limits, you know, getting up every day and, and putting in the hours behind your business. So I think um, that I would say being passionate is probably the most important thing for me in my business right now. And when you're passionate, you realize you wake up before the alarm clock. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt about it. 
Fantastic. So you were telling me that you would love to have a kind of community center, your place, your space to be able to host more people on a regular basis. Yes. So, um, you know, actually, in Trinidad, we are a little bit limited as to where we can host um, our type of events. Um, one thing I, well, a couple things I consider when I'm hosting my events, uh, um, you, of course, you want the customers to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I, I usually look at an air conditioned venue. And also you, you, you would want to have a venue where there's lots of parking, because when you have lots of parking, you would have lots of customers. Right, so those are two things I usually look look for, and um, it is a bit difficult in Trinidad to find places um, like that that are also affordable to small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have um, a couple different venues we would utilize from time to time. But I know that maybe one day, or hopefully one day, we would be able to have our own um, center, conference center, to host our um, local events. Wonderful. Well, one of our viewers out there is going to see this, and they're going to say, hey, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I am looking out for that. Fingers crossed again. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so what would be your one message to our viewers? So my one message, I think um, this year, um, my message might have been adjusted a little bit. If you had asked me this last year, I probably would have given a different answer. But with all that has happened in 2020, and being a small business owner, being self-employed, um, and then being tremendously affected by COVID, my, ad, my advice to persons, um, especially those intended to go into business, would be to um, be persist persistent. You know, don't give up. Um, you will face a lot of challenges. This year definitely has been the toughest year for me, mm -hmm. not only as an individual, but um, in my family life, in my business life, um, and to be honest, financially as well. But um, I did not give up. I kept, um, kept my eyes on the prize, kept working towards it. Um, I think I stopped giving the media much attention, you know, because every day you would listen. And of course, there's a bit negative news in terms of the COVID deaths and everything. So of course, I, I, I would be very careful, but you know, just not having that negative influence as well and just persevering and just remaining persistent. So that would definitely be my new message and especially in terms of the challenges we have faced this year and the challenges we might face going into the new year as well. Absolutely. I have a colleague in Brazil and he's a teacher like me. And he says, if opportunity isn't knocking, build a door. Oh, yes. He is, <laughs> he is quite right. I agree 100% with him. Shout out to Stephen Hughes, originally from Trinidad. Oh, okay, okay. So a definite shout out to Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So this is wonderful, but I also see that you have entrepreneur training classes. You have online classes available? Yes. So um, be, being involved in the salt market, um, you just now mentioned um, opportunities. So being involved in the salt market and dealing with a lot of small business owners, um, they would usually come to, to me or my um, co-workers for advice. And I mean, you know, like 
in Trinidad, the advice or the information is not always very accessible. Um, so we, we decided, you know, hey, let's start off this workshop so that we can provide entrepreneurs with proper guidance. We can um, let them learn from our experiences and, you know, just really guide and advise them in the in the best way possible so that they can grow their businesses, you know, without making the mistakes um, we made, you know, without make, without it being as challenging, um, without it being too challenging for them. You know, we just wanted to make being a business owner um, as easy as possible and providing the guidance and advice that, you know, new and aspiring business owners would need. Wonderful. So you'll give me all that information to put in the description box. Sure, no problem. Hello, fantastic. And I do want to say as an entrepreneur myself, sometimes I welcome the challenges because it really pushes me to expand and to grow and to get more information to get me to that next level. Yes, yes, <laughs> I, I, I agree. And I would just probably add um, so Two years ago, mm -hmm. I had an idea that I should develop a local website. Mm -hmm. You know, however, back then, Trinidadians were not too um, into the online shopping or, you know, mm -hmm. um, that kind of, we did not have that type of vibe back then. However, when COVID came, I think that quickly changed. Mm -hmm. um, I started, um, I brought that project back to life, started working on it. I recontacted the website developer. I, ha I had um, discussed the idea with, and he was very happy to work on it. And um, very happy to announce that we launched our local online marketplace. Um, Congratulations. It, thank you wow. very much. It's 868.market. Okay. And as you would know, 868 is the, um, the telephone code, the international telephone code for Trinidad and Tobago. So 868 actually stands for TNT. So it's the, it's 868.market. Ooh, and clever. <laughs> we launched, we launched um, this Cyber Monday. So we are actually only four days old. Oh. It, has been doing tremendously well nice. so far is is actually doing much better than expected um so i just think i i would you know announce that in terms of the accomplishments and the challenges faced but yet being able to to develop design and launch yes at, and website such as this that is huge that's yeah. amazing. So how are you taking payments? So we, um, COVID revolutionized a lot oh, of stuff yeah. in Trinidad, <laughs> right? We, we, we jumped, I would say probably about eight years in terms of moving forward. Um, nice. So now we have, we have the different options of payment. So customers can pay on the website with credit card or they can also pay when the product is delivered to them. We have our um, portable links or mm. debit card machines, so they nice. have that option as well. I have to say I agree with you 1000%. Um, you know, like this time last year, having to connect with even family and friends and they're like, what's Zoom? How do I do that? You know, and this year, even the Tanties and them, they they on the Zoom, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, so like Zoom, Zoom is a, a, whole, a, whole, a household name right now. You know, <laughs> very nice. So I'm so happy to have you here. We will put all the information below. Definitely check out Siljan at South Market TT. Woohoo. And give some support and some love. Thank you very much, Priscilla. You are most welcome. Say bye. Okay, bye bye, everyone. Peace. <laughs>